Riot Games. More commonly known as Rito Please or simply Where is the Skarner Rework is a company whose biggest game is commonly described as, and I quote, a fast-paced competitive online game that blends the speed and intensity of an RTS with RPG elements. Two teams of powerful champions, each with a unique design and playstyle, bat a head-to-head -head across multiple battlefields and game modes. They're really stretching the meaning of the word multiple. The count of different maps and game modes is exactly two, that being 5v5 on Summoner's Rift and 5v5 on the Howling Abyss. Differences in ranked really aren't a different game mode. A different game mode is Earth, Dominion, Hexakill, 3v3, Twisted Treeland, the 2v2v2v2v2v2v2 2v2 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 game mode we will apparently get, and heck, even Nexus Splits or Ascension. Please never bring those back. Wright's philosophy with the game is that Summoner's Rift is the only thing that matters, and ARAM has to be kept around for all the casuals that don't enjoy being fed an overdose of toxicity from the ranked games, or otherwise being held hostage by four chimpanzees with a 10 year old Toshiba laptop that's overheating itself trying to render every single pixel on their Battle Bunny ribbon outfit. Game modes that are actually fun, like Earth or Ultimate Spellbook, can't be kept around because they quote unquote are unhealthy to the game if they become permanent. I mean, if you play Earth for too long, you realize it's actually a fun game mode, and you'll have a fun time, so we can't have that. No Dominion, no Earth, no Hexakill, no 3v3, no Ultimate Spellbook, no fun, no wife, no life, only LP. Also, please write games, don't force me to use your new shitty write client. I mean, seriously, you mean I need to use a client to get to your game's client to then get into the game? I know the base code is a decade and a half old at this point, but just, and I don't think I'd ever say this, take an example from Blizzard. Just take everything that matters, like champions, skins, mastery points and whatnot, and plop them into a re-release. Now, instead of following Blizzard and making your re-release pointless, or following Blizzard in any other way, you should just build the game from the ground up and have the logic function the same way. Then your game could also actually look okay, like the mobile version. Never thought I'd say that either. This game takes itself so seriously that you get punished for being good at it. 200 years of collective game design experience can't figure out whether I count a smurf or not. I was gold 1 last season, climbed up to gold 1 quickly this season. Truly, that means I'm a diamond to your player. It's like congratulating a kid on doing really well playing this middle school basketball team and then recruiting a full team of NBA players just to continuously dunk on him for 40 minutes straight because they thought it was young Michael Jordan. I win 4 games in a row, I get put in higher tier lobbies. Let's say I can handle that. Then tell me how this Alawi on a 3 game win streak in Platinum 2 with 300 wins gets matched with me, a gold 1 player with 19 wins. It's like you have two dogs. An old one, which you congratulate and give treats to for not shitting the carpet. And a young one, which you kick around and throw him down the stairs because he was being too much of a good boy. And you might say, yeah, but, but you have so, you've played so little, it's fair to assume you're a smith. Because clearly I created my account yesterday and I'm barely over level 30. ARAM, the only other game mode alive besides Summoner's Rift, is balanced differently, has different items and different stats for each champion. Okay, so you figure out how to have the same champion play differently across these game modes, but how come you can't do that for professional play? Riot removes all the fun stuff from the game with the justification that it's either not played enough, not healthy for the game, or actually most of the time because something is too overpowered in pro play. Counter-argument, Riot Games, what stands against creating a game mode that's casual, like the old Dominion, and just plonking all of the items in there? Yep, even those you deleted, those you deemed broken, let me build whatever the hell I want. Let everything be broken and stupid. You've clearly shown that you can balance different game modes differently, so just give me access to make the stupidest fucking build ever. Why take away the fun from the game with the justification that it's not good for pro play and then balance pro play on solo queue the same? Anybody with solo queue experience will be able to tell you immediately that the amount of teamwork you can expect from your peers is about the amount of teamwork the praying mantises offer. Exactly, they eat each other alive. I don't think anybody would even begin to understand the amount of grief that could be caused to another human being if there was any friendly fire in this game. I mean, when Tom Kench had his ability on his W, and not as his ultimate, and really wanted to troll you, believe me, he could. In short, we shall continue to treat Riot Games as a not billion dollar indie company it is, and accept the fact that they butchered the champion I play because he wasn't healthy for the game when he could revive from the dead, Immortality. But then put in a champion that can revive a whole fucking squadron, or how about avoiding death altogether? Maybe you'd also just want to take as little damage as possible so you never even get close to dying in the first place. Or that time when they reworked a champion that they didn't like the playstyle of because it was too simple and just ran around killing stuff with no skill shots, and made him into a champion that runs around killing stuff with no skill shots but also now can make himself unstoppable and has AoE damage. Yeah, that sounds like an incredibly healthy change, right, games? Listen, I'll make you a deal. How about you just give Aatrox's revive back? and I'll leave you alone forever.